Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh my people, my beautiful people. Today we're talking about passive income and that's a very important one. A few of you guys have been asking me about passive income and well listen, I'm here to deliver what you guys want. Abu Musa's here for your mandem. But listen, before I carry on, like this video, share with your family and friends. I know this is going to be of benefit and if you like one of the ideas, I want you to tell me specifically which idea you like in the comments below. So let's get right into it. At number one, I'm gonna go with social media. Now I know what you're thinking, social media, I hate being on camera, I don't like it, what's the point? But listen to me. Social media is one of those where really and truly, if you can bring benefit to the people, if you can bring benefit to the community, of course, inshallah, in the future, you can make money off it. However, it's not easy. You have to put your face on camera to a certain extent unless you're going to have like meme pages or something which I'm not going to lie, I don't really recommend. But listen, on social media, YouTube, Insta, Twitter, even LinkedIn, you can make a decent amount as long as you have a following from obviously the YouTube AdSense which everyone knows about. What people don't know about are the promotions, uh, for example, promotions on Instagram and promotions even on LinkedIn. Yeah, you'll be surprised. But it's, these are the sort of things that you can now start making money off. And it is, it is to a certain extent passive. And because obviously you still have to make the videos, right? You still have to make the content. But to be honest with you, you could, if you wanted to, make the videos. And if you didn't want to make videos for a month or two months, you would still get paid on them. You would still get paid on YouTube videos. You would still get paid you know, if for example, you had a promo running on certain thing and maybe if you had affiliate links and you were doing some affiliation, you would still get paid. And I believe in today's society, social media is the new TV. So, you know, back in the day when we used to see a TV advert, you'd be like, raw, this guy's on TV, really and truly, that's social media now. So, my brothers and sisters, if you guys want to make the most of business, I have to be honest, like, you have to make the most of social media in a certain way and keep it halal of course as well. Now the second one is somewhat affiliated to the first one because if you have a good following, if you have a good following on Instagram or you know YouTube or if you have a good following on um, you know your other social networks, start a product and I know we're talking about passive income right? But think about it like this, if you can find a product and let's just talk about clothes, T-shirts, let's keep it simple, okay? If you can have a T-shirt that sells really well, you get 10 influencers who have 100,000 following and you say to them, shout out my product. You hire someone, maybe on three days a week or two days a week, couple of hours, and you say, you do the admin, you do everything, um, you post it out, you basically look after this side and all you do is basically manage it in essence and all of a sudden really and truly this becomes passive for you because you don't actually have to be there and the business is running, the money is coming without you actually doing anything. So sometimes you have to think like a business person. So sell a product, sell, listen, a key ring, a watch, a pen, uh, man, it might even be a t-shirt, a trouser, a trainers. But if you have a product that is good and can sell and you get influencers shouting it out and if you get the market interested, uh, you can make a decent amount. And like sometimes it's much easier than you actually think, especially with the power of social media. And if you hire someone to do the admin side, to do the postal, to do the things that you maybe don't want to do and pay them £9 an hour, £9.50 an hour, look after them, then that money becomes passive for you. So think bigger, think about maybe hiring someone if you want to make an income passive and maybe you already have a business where you can hire someone, pay them, and then make them do the work that you were doing, which in essence would, again, make the money passive. Number three, this is actually something which I think would work really well. And it's a vending machine business. Now, I don't know if you guys have come across this before, but trust me, trust me, this is a very good business idea. So, what you do is you buy vending machines and you can get them online, for a certain amount, of course some being cheaper and some being more expensive depending on if you want the whole electronic shabang or if you want the whole manual thing, obviously the manual thing is going to be a bit cheaper, but a vending machine, you buy it, you stock it up, 
But hear this out. You then approach companies who have facilities, manufacturing sites, construction sites, offices. You approach companies and ask them, can I have my vending machine in your location? And maybe you can sort them out a cut. And if you want to know how you can start having these sort of conversations with companies, then make sure to subscribe to the channel because I'm actually going to be doing a couple of sales calls live on my phone and I'll actually put them on YouTube as well. And inshallah, that should benefit you guys as well. So, a vending machine, you stock it up, you look after it, you give it to the company, you obviously discuss it with the company and say, I will give you a cut. Can I have my vending machine in your location? All I need is a so-and-so space. Every month you come, you collect the money from the products you sold, you stock it up and you redo it over and over again. A very good way of building passive income in today's environment, especially with the manufacturing companies and construction companies and the companies that obviously are actually in work, you know, because of the whole COVID situation, many, many people are still at home. So those are the sort of companies you can target right now. And of course, when things ease off, then listen, the whole UK is your market. At number four, we're going with courses. Now I know, you're like, I don't know what I can teach, trust me. Sometimes you just have to think about it. Many people actually have an idea on what they can do or what they can teach, but they just don't do it. In fact, they just don't do it because they think, oh man, like, you know, I don't really know if I'm a good teacher or I don't really know if I could bring benefit to the people. Honestly, sometimes just building a course and there are services you could use like Skillshare where you can make a course put it on there and they'll pay you a cut. And so really and truly, you don't even have to put much effort in. And sometimes, look, it might be like calligraphy. Like I know some, some of you guys, like you lot are sick, you know, making calligraphy. Like I've seen some people, you, you guys have been messaging me. You guys need to make a course, like make a course on how to do calligraphy. Even something like, something, see like knitting, something like, I don't know, man, like doing a certain thing that you guys are doing, just think about it and make a course. And then if you can get that course out, you can do whatever you're doing on the side or whatever you're living and whatever you're doing on a day-to-day -day basis and you can still have that course selling. And not only that, but you can, to be fair, market it through the social media as well. Again, it goes back to the social media. So courses are honestly a fantastic way of getting a passive income coming in. So I would definitely suggest either learn something you could teach, build something you can teach, or just think about what you could possibly teach and just get on one of these services um, and just make a course and get it out there if you want. You can even have your own website and get your course out there if you really believe in yourself. But definitely that's a way you can build some passive income. And the last one we're gonna go with is stock related. Stocks, yeah. You can build some passive income from stocks because obviously I'm not gonna tell you guys to buy a house on a mortgage and then rent it out, right? Because we know that is haram and Abu Musa doesn't recommend haram stuff. It's all this money stuff, we're keeping it halal. So stocks, and again, be careful which, with what stocks you invest in, but if a stock is giving you dividend, which, which sometimes stocks do, look into stocks that give you some dividends. Look, at times it's not a lot, okay? It, it, sometimes it's only 1% or 2%, and even that is quarterly or 3% even. Uh, sometimes you can get a bit more, but look into the stocks market, look into the stock market, look into dividends, look into which stocks are halal and get them checked out by someone of knowledge, ideally someone who knows on the finance side. But rather than putting your money in a bank account and letting it go down, which in essence is what the money does when it's in your bank account, you could put it in some stocks and of course you'd get some dividends on it. Uh, not only that, but the stock itself, if it's doing well, it will also increase in value. So, you know, for example, if the stock is just goes up 5% in five years, but then you're getting dividends on it every three months, then you're doing all right. You're making some good income on it. And of course, you're trying to beat that inflation rate all the time. So it's a nice little easy way to build a passive income uh, from dividend stocks as well, which might not be as much but it's definitely there, it's safer, it's much easier, and you definitely don't have to do that much work apart from getting it checked and making sure that the stock itself is halal. So I hope again, all of these ideas brought some benefit to you. And again, let me know in the comments below your favorite one. Don't be, don't be, listen, 
Don't be writing all five of them and saying, oh, for the lazy ones, you know, these are all five. No, don't do that because then people don't watch the whole video. And that doesn't help a brother out. You get what I'm saying? So the best one, the favorite one, whatever one you liked, comment below. I like this video as well. Share with your family and friends. And listen, if you guys are benefiting, subscribe to the channel. If you guys are new, you guys have been super supportive. I appreciate it. I'll continue making the content as long as you guys keep liking it. Jazakallah khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa